Vlogmas. I'm a day late. Kind of knew that was going to happen, didn't we? I had to move the camera. That wasn't working out. Okay. So last night I went out with some girlies and had some supper, which was why I didn't post because I wasn't able to edit like for the Monday, Wednesday, Friday Vlogmas. I don't know how that's going to keep working out, but you know, we're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah, so we went out for dinner last night somewhere that I had never been yet. It was a very good, very good food. We were there for like two hours. We did the whole right from drink to appetizer to dessert. It was wonderful. The service was wonderful. Uh, the company was great. We just had, we had a great time. I vote that we should do that like quarterly maybe just because these girls are also reliant on social media, so to speak, for their jobs. And sometimes it's fun just to bounce ideas back and forth. It's almost a creative minds meeting rather than a friends meeting, like it's both. So that's kind of fun, gets you fired up a little bit to do some things. Sometimes you just get in a slump with these things, as you know, you know, if you're using social media to promote your business or your channel or whatever it is, um, sometimes you get in a bit of a slump with it. So I just had that really great chat and I don't know. I feel like I think if people, it, you know, if you know that you need a chat like that and you don't have maybe close personal friends that you can see face to face and do it with, reach out to someone online. Um, you never know when there'd be somebody that's like, yes, I would love to talk about that. You could have a little Zoom call. I don't know. I think it's a great idea. Today, it's like 7 a.m., just after 7 now. I have been here for a minute. That thought just made me want to yawn. I'm really sorry if that made you yawn. But I'm drinking my coffee. It's probably still too hot. But I brought my coffee. I brought different creamer this morning. I always get the caramel macchiato creamer. It's a season I'm in and I've been in it. Um, and I got the, I know that I don't like the international coffee one. I know that, I just don't buy it. But I got the Coffee Mate one and I have it here. And it almost like it's brand new and it almost like curdled yesterday. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't taste like it was bad, like spoiled, but it didn't taste good. So I brought a little bit of my, I had gotten the Costco Starbucks one. They're kind of expensive, but I might have to keep buying it. Still too hot. I'm such a wimp. What else is happening? I'm going to try to edit this maybe later on today here at work. That would be fun. See if I can get that done. I don't know that there's much new to talk about right here at the moment. I'll be doing orders again in January. I haven't made much for orders as of late. I've just been like using through stock that I have. So my hands right now, let's talk about hands. Even my clients coming in, their hands are a mess. They're already so dry and cracked and looking sore and mine just like exploded. I am, you're shaking. I am definitely gonna spare you the details of looking at them, but I'm sure if you've watched any of my like shorts that I've made about, I've been doing shorts about the colors that I'm using today in the salon, you guys really seem to like them or somebody seems to like them, they get, as you know, I don't know, some of you are pickers, some of you aren't, but as they get cracked, I just demolish them. So the trick is for them not to get cracked. And if it's available to the public, I've probably tried it. And being able, you know, being able to reach out and get professional products has been helpful. Not really. They're awful. I need help. I had some lanolin here, and I'm going to try to see if I still have it here. It is in a tight tube, so however old it is, however long I've had it, it should still be good. So I am going to try to find that. I've tried using even oils on them under my gloves between clients, and that's fine while it's there. But once it's washed and then dry again, it's almost worse. Like treating them has become, the after effect of treating them has become almost worse. I'm at that point. I think if you've had this, you understand that. I'm at that point of this situation. So I'm really hoping that I can find something. I might take a little gander on Amazon and just, no, I'm not gonna. I, I might look, but I think I'm going to go, first I need to look at home, I think I have shea butter that I can mix up with like 
grapeseed oil or something and make my own little paste but yeah I just I just pick because I just can and it's awful and it's distracting and I hate it but it's so much fun as you know if you're a picker I managed to snag a couple of pair of lululemon not wonder unders but the new wonder unders guys in comparison to the old wonder unders these are the wonder trains you know they're just I, mm, um, the old Wonder Unders, first of all, I have a Beagle Mix, like a white dog. And you could just, oof, and the hair would be gone. Not with these. They have a little bit more texture to them. Very soft, you know, whatever, but uh, you can't just wipe off the nail dust or the dog hair. The waist of them, they have like a little cinch tie around the top of the waist that the Wonder Unders didn't have. Don't love that for me it's perfectly comfortable it's fine just don't love it i was able to snag these for cheap they were 49 dollars a pair which they're lululemons and they have an emblem on the back of the leg of a, a maple leaf in in white because they were the olympic style but wow there i go again sorry it the boots i wear all the time cover it so don't care. I mean, they're $49 and I needed new leggings. Like my actual wonder unders. Oh my goodness. I have had those, you know, people say, how can you, oh my God, you spend a hundred dollars on a pair of leggings. Well, I had them for like nine years and wore them four times a week. So yep, sure did spend that. But anyhow, as with all things, the new and improved are just not that impressive. I'm gonna start my day. This is finally cooled off. I'm gonna drink it, go on YouTube, look through Amazon, do all my things. I will check back with you later. So I did find this. It's my, the Lanolip 101 ointment, multi-purpose super bomb. It is, uh, I'm just trying to find the ingredient directions. Extreme hydration for dry lips, skin patches, cuticles, elbows, directions. 100% natural. Is it just lanolin? There is no ingredients. Weird. Anyway, pretty certain that this does not go bad. It also has not been open to the air. I'm going to use it today under my gloves because like can't bend that thumb anymore. I do know that you have to warm it up a little bit to use it, but I'm just trying to get some of it out just to clean up the end of it, but no, it's fine. No, it's totally fine. So cool. I'm going to be, I'm just going to put that on because my client will be here shortly and I've already washed my hands. So I'm going to get some of that warmed up and get it on because yeah, like I said, I can't even bend them right now. Also should mention coming back with some nail content in January, like some real old liquid chrome nails, nail content. So stay tuned for that. Would you guys rather gel polish type tutorials, like with acrylic gel polish, nail art, I guess is what I'm getting at. Or would you rather full on acrylic? Full on acrylic seems to be what you guys want because it does get more views. However, sometimes when you ask more views, the, the stuff you get more views on isn't the stuff that people actually want or say that they want, which is so strange. Let me know what you feel like you would rather see because that is what I will try to film. You know, filming tutorials or filming like Watch Me Works or whatever, even on the practice hands, which by the way are available at AR Nail Supply, the liquid chrome nails practice hands. There are a lot of editing, like a lot of editing. That's why sometimes some of us slack on those and I have been definitely slacking on those, but I do really want to get back at them. The lanolin is on. Hey guys, welcome back. It is the end of the day. If you can't tell, it's dark out and I'm a mess <laughs> and I'm just finishing up. So I've just made a short uh, because the algorithm seems to like those a lot. So I've been making shorts of the colors I used today in the salon. And I stopped including a couple of colors that I use over and over and over again each day, like uh, the Artistic Color Gloss Hotness, using it every day. 
it probably doesn't need to be in the short every day. Plus, if you're gonna add music, there's only 15 seconds, so we can only, we can only do so much. But a new one that I did use today was Tears of Silver. Love this one. You can get that on the nail thread. Also, Flawless. The perfect pink for like the pink Christmas nails that you can find on Instagram. I also used my Rainbow Fine Loose Glitter from Glitter Bells. I should be putting this stuff away as I'm talking. My neck is killing me. I can't get that up there. And I am going to get cleaned up. Uh, I've already done my tools. They're drying. I will leave those for the morning. I'll put them away in the morning, which is what I tend to do. I will load up the tea kettle with water ready for coffee in the morning and clean my desk. My tools are done. Take out the garbage on my way to my vehicle, which I need to start so that it's warm. And then I'm going to go home, eat nachos, and edit this for you. I will see you guys in the next vlogmas or just the next vlog. You never know.